Hello, everybody. Alan, uh, wake. Alan waked up. Alan woke up. And we're back with more Alan. Um, I'm very comfortable. So this sounds like it looks like I have boobs. Tongue just took a there we go. Crap in my mouth. Oh, thanks, Barry. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? <laughs> Al. Oh my god, he's even got the balding sliding back hair thing. Oh, come on, Barry. I am never drinking again. Yeah, I've heard that one before. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. The Lady of the Light. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Oh man, it's Nightingale. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's Did you already there. use that All joke? The evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Brett uh, Easton agent Ellis. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Goodbye, goodbye, Wait, wife. What's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. This okay, guy's got his finger on the trap. trigger. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! God! Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... <laughs> God. <laughs> I have to. That was such a, a ridiculous, a ridiculous turn of events. That, that that caught me off guard so much. I I forgot what I was gonna say. We'll just we'll just let it continue. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Hey, a manuscript oh, page. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Hold on. We gotta. Nightingale reads the manuscript. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind reel. Yeah. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, and the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Yeah, we're getting really meta now. Stay Episode cool. five, the clicker. The oh, I was wondering when they would bring the clicker thing back. They they had a, they all had a whole setup for that in episode two in New York, and they ne they never brought the clicker back. And I was like, this obviously has some importance to the story. Hell yeah, we're gaming. Cynthia. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power. Oh shit. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. Oh Let's no, not a helicopter. This is the worst idea. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? Barry. Barry. What? Oh, there's darkness goop. I genuinely thought I just got shot. The goop. Oh, no. The birds are back. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Dodged. Damn, they do call it a murder for a reason. Night Springs? In What's Night that all about? Springs. It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get Well, yeah. Bright Falls. Night Springs. Duh. What am I, an electrician? Hold on. Yeah, obviously. Hold on. I need to deal with the evil car first. All right, got it. Okay. The, uh, the, she's already significantly better than the shitty kidnapper guy from earlier. She actually hits her fucking shots. Look out. Oh, dear fast. Oh, fuck. Ow, 
I hate the I hate these guys. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. You actually like you actually actually hit people. Oh shit, we're back in the diner. It's the best cupcakes. Oh, we're not back at the diner. Oh. We uh Oh god. Ow, 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 I hate I hate the small ones. One, two, three. Oh, thank you, shotgun. Alright. Touch. Ah. Oh. The light. I thought it was. <laughs> I genuinely assume that might have been an evil car. Deal with the, the short ones first. God damn it. Wait, did he get hit by the axe? I think the other darkness guy got hit by the axe. There we go. Axe upon ye. Still 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah. Yep. Still 6.5 out of 10. That wasn't even a poltergeist chair. It was just a fucking chair. It was just a chair. I need a script. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. But meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. Yesterday, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking about this for a second. So like yesterday after I finished stream, I was kind of mewling over the game a little bit in my head, just kind of thinking about it and all that kind of stuff. So it's like, there's, a, there's like primordial darkness. Thomas Zane was an old writer and everything like that. And, and he, he died in the lake when it erupted, like everything like that, the usual stuff. The darkness takes over like works of fiction, like art and stuff and uses it to its own. I'm assuming the darkness is just evil. It's just an evil fucking presence. And it's using stuff like that to, to take things over and all that jazz. Barbara is not actually the darkness. It's just wearing Barbara as like a skin. I, I'm not expecting the darkness to be, to be explained though. They were like, Stephen King said, if you explain the Velt monster, it makes it worse because Sam Lake is a fucking hack. I guess the question that I'm trying to figure out that I'm not actually asking you chats, why does the darkness specifically need to use works of fiction? And more importantly, why does, is it, does it give such a fucking huge um, emphasis on Alan Wake as opposed to everyone else? Anyway, we'll continue. Jesus Christ. Oh, hell yeah. I, I don't think I closed that door. Flashbangs! Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, Sheriff. I got the keys. Oh. Sheriff? Barry? Why isn't he inside? What? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> go, Barry, go! Barry, look out! No, Barry, no. Move. Don't do it. No. Ah! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. I've, I've, I'll say it again. If Barry dies, this game is a zero out of 10. So Barry better fucking live or else you guys are going to get really upset with my end game review score. God damn it. Whoa. Every, every time I get hit by an ax. Whoa. Ax upon ye. Sarah. About time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days they'll kill somebody. And over Deerfest. Deerfest! Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Okay. I, light is what God gave me, so. I don't see Barry. <laughs> Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh, oh, four flare gun shots. Oh man, we're so dead. Okay, multiple flashbangs. Another lantern, hunting rifle, flare gun ammunition. 
Oh, we are we are about to have a bad day. We are about to have a bad day. Pastor Howard, a piece of my mind about it's a defense. This it's a defense no, mission. Told him to get it fixed. It's a defense mission. Here we go. All right. Current objective. Survive. No! Not these guys! <laughs> Sarah! Freeze! For ow! Oh, I'm gonna die. I got fucking wombos! No, 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 no. I gotta go through this hole. Oh. The kid, the children yearn for the mines. Physical labor. Where did you come from? You weren't revealed at all in this in the in the little section. This enemy type is so bad. It's genuinely so bad. There we go. Holy hell. Oh, that was it? It's just because they sent two of the wave tashing guys at me? I genuinely expected at least some thick boys. And maybe okay, like a Let's bulldozer. Go, for it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. I, w I wonder if that's why, like, the story ends with the entire town dying or something. Some dog shit Stephen King ending or something. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. <laughs> the darkness is Sam Lake. I gotta be honest, I think these big guys are my least favorite enemies. They start slow, and then they just start moving at regular speeds. Um, of course, you know, the- Did you call 911? Guess that one saw the light, huh? Barry! You didn't like that one? <laughs> Tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. He's got a, a, <laughs> the headlight and everything. Yeah. Barry, fucking love you so much. I, I really hope he's in the second game. I really hope. At least have a cameo. Alice had screamed until she had no more door. To scream. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Oh, so the script says that she's still alive? Bastard. I, I gotta be honest, guys. I thought she has been dead this whole time. I genuinely think that we're gonna save the town from darkness, but Alice is, is, has been a goner since the start of the game. You know what? Fuck it. Here you go. Whoa! Flashbang upon ye! Oh god, there's so many. Oh, oh god. Oh, there's even a flare gun. Oh, there's so many flashbangs! Oh no. Clueless. This all comes down to this because we need Barry. God damn it. God damn it! It doesn't stop! Whoa, pipe upon ye. There's no way in hell they're not sending a chainsaw guy at me at some point. Whoa, steel beam. Oh shit, hold on. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance wow, on that a was... local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. I... I gotta, I gotta be honest, I... 
they, they really overprepared me on that one. I expected a chainsaw guy or something, you know? I hope you know how to deal with this, Wake. You're a pretty good writer. A yeah. little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's <laughs> ever said that before. Sam Lake, you hack. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? <laughs> little. And that's the dam further up the river. <laughs> little heavy on the metaphors. Oh no, my darkness spirit friends. Son of a bitch. Owie. Yeah, burn the, the burn the crows. Burn it. Alan's VA is really good in control in the sequel. Yeah, every single person says that Alan Wake is uh, significantly better in the sequel. And even then, he's like, not always bad. He has some moments where he's okay. Fuck. Oh my god! What? This is so many of them! What the fuck? Was that axe ax even near me? I, I swear to god. When, when he's talking with Barry, when he's shooting the shit with Barry, he sounds a lot better. Alan Wake, that is. I mean, it's good. But. Never mind, I promise I'll listen. With the lime in the coconut. And it's, sorry. There we go. Damn, that was actually harder than the other uh, section, probably because they, they didn't give me as much stuff. As Ricky reads the manuscript before him, he, he started violently shitting and coming and saying, Barry? Also, no Duracell ads? Cringe. Right, didn't the original game have a shitload of Duracell ads? Like, all the batteries were Duracell in the game? A game has to... A, a game is a game. And I feel like the most important thing of a game should be the gameplay. Because that's why this as a medium is what you're playing. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, I, looking at you, Death Stranding, sometimes you can get away with it. Like, I like Spec Ops The Line a lot, and that gameplay is generic, but, but Spec Ops The Line's gameplay is just generic. It's not, like, really bad or anything. <laughs> get me out of here! What the fuck? Ah! Whoa! What the fuck? Never mind. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. If I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Yes, sir. What's the how? How many Sam Lake you hacks are we up to right now? Just. Just make this clear one more time. Sam, I don't think Sam Lake is a hack. He seems like a really good guy. But it's the game is bordering on pretentious with how with how much it self inserts and and how how meta it is. He's sucking his own dick a little bit, but like just the tip. I'm definitely gonna have to hold out against somebody. Oh god. Wait, this shit's still spinning! Whoa, crow upon ye! Uh, okay, there's the bridge gate. No! Sam Lake is like Stephen King. How many of King's protagonists are writers from Maine? Man, how many of King's stories are just in Maine? They're all in Maine. There's a very, very fine line between Kojima, Sam Lake, and David Cage. I gotta be honest, I don't much like David Cage's stuff very, very much. I wouldn't put David Cage up in there. Yeah, I think David Cage is actually a hack. <laughs> I love how there's a helicopter support, like a Resident Evil game, but it's just the flashlight from the helicopter. 
Ow. The best part about Detroit Become Human was Connor. Connor and Mr. Krabs. I'm get, I've got Wombo. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! It's so fucking annoying! Who designed this shit? Ah! Burn! Holy shit, the birds just fucking died. What the fuck? All right. Oh, he's so... I didn't realize he wasn't stripped yet. There we go. Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Oh, she's just some old Young library lady. I've been waiting a very long time for you. Okay. Wait, she was at the very beginning? She was? She's the diner lady? Oh, right, she's the one behind the corner being like, no, don't go in there. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's drained all the reserve Wait. power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. All right, well, at least we finally found the weird lady. I wonder if she puts the lime in the coconut. Oh, shit. Oh, it's thick. Rule number one, never go- Okay, well, at least she's been the one- I guess it makes a lot of sense that she's been the one doing all of the, um... I could see what is it called? Uh, cut. hidden mess messages that light up by light. So that's pretty cool. What am I doing again? Oh, yeah, I'm cutting the power. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. Okay. Well, that was fucking easy. Is that supposed to be a, a, like a like a fucking puzzle or something? <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. I threw up. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. I'm back. Cynthia, this come on. Way, young man. Follow me. Okay. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. Uh, then I don't think we're gonna get Alice back, Which bro. He left only one thing behind in my care, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Do you want some help? Tom, that's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me in, in television from beyond. This pipe will take us directly to yeah. the well Yeah, Alan, help her for okay. fuck's sake. I call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? No! No! For the sweet love of- Barry! Barry! This 
is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. No, no. He, he wasn't in that helicopter. He wasn't in the helicopter. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. He wasn't even in that chopper. Okay, that was actually kind of funny. How he did that jump and immediately fell over. Not even a superhero landing, he just she fucking was. flopped. Sarah was almost starting to relax. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. I was never in that helicopter. Barry was never even in this video game. He was written out of the manuscript. I was never even in that script. No Barry, no kill. Barry! Barry. The, these people have survived a, a staggeringly large amount of, of car and vehicle crashes. Has anyone realized that? Ow! See, time is a flat circle. What is, what is woe acts upon ye right now is just do show from Ghost of Tsushima all over again, rebranded. Yeah, you know, if I don't write Barry to be dead, then he can never die. You know, he's he's got actual meta plot armor. No! No, it's not. What? Sarah! What is considered possible after tonight? What exactly is too possible? I got I got to be honest, the soundtrack for this game does not fit. The 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 constant Marvel move. Ah! All right, the soundtrack's fine. I lied. Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. I honestly don't think you're in any position be to be careful, okay? You're in any position to be um Judging after we're fighting the darkness the the door's gonna the door's gonna close and then I'm gonna get attacked and then you know, it's gonna happen There we go Whoa I've played enough video games. Oh no. This is a pretty precarious spot to be in. Uh, oh, there's like a lot of burn. Oh my god! I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Oh, yeah, it could. I, I, I see they had, uh, I see they had testing for this game. They had, they had player testing and they were all like, oh shit, I never noticed the spotlight behind me. And, and so they, they added Alan to explain it to you. Oh God. Enough. You will go no further. Uh oh. Oh no! Stop now. You 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 missed. Run. Alan, please. Whoa. Whoa, but whoa! Ugh. Alan Wake's goofy tired walk. Oh, car!
Do, do show, do show, you give me flashbacks, Ricky. Fucking Ghost of Tsushima archers were such assholes. There's an old army base at Rain Cove Point, North It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. Oh, shit. I didn't know. Give me a cutscene. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon. And I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. There are literally shadows. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. Right. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. <laughs> I can get to her now. I can finish this. I can just imagine the two of them being like, Alan, what the fuck are you talking about? This is this is basically the cap of a flashlight, Alan. Am I, am I wrong with this? Alan Wake wrote that Thomas Zane wrote about the clicker that Alan Wake had as a kid that happened to that that he wrote that Alan Wake thought of and manifested it into the room. Sam Lake, you hack. New York City two years ago. We're just gonna keep this going. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Isn't this kind of like- I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses. This man sleeps in jeans. So wait, wait, I, I think, I think, I'm assuming they purposely create a paradox here because Alan Wake wrote that Thomas Zane wrote about his mom giving him the clicker. But because of that, in a sense, it sounds like Alan Wake's life is a thing because Thomas Zane, when he was still alive, wrote about Alan Wake, but Alan Wake wrote about Thomas Zane. So isn't it in a sense, basically just a paradox? Of who wrote who first, and it doesn't really make any sense. All right, Chash is smiling. I'm just gonna keep going. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. <laughs> it didn't work. Man, I've been here. Oh, are the sunglasses in here? Oh, they're in here. I thought they were in the living room. <sighs> this is still this is still more comprehensible than Kingdom Hearts. I fucking had a TiVo when I was a kid. That was the best invention ever made. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. Wait, please, TiVo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Yellick Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. You have to hold the left stick down. It throws me off. God damn it. Oh, we're just going to do this. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with. 
and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. A departure, you huh? Selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, he acts better That's in person than he does narrating Alan Wake. Like his physical thing. acting uh, is better than his voice acting. You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Uh, Wait, the actor's not the VA? Oh, shit! He sounds so similar, though. Oh, yeah, their lines are dubbed. I can't tell because I'm looking at a game and a TV show in a game from 2010. You're right. Never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. Wait, was that Sam Lake in the, on the left? Sam Lake. What's more? Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. Let's go. Sam Lake, you fucking hack. Oh. Ah, oh, gratuitous butt shot. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Okay, you're right. You're right. The, the 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 actor who played Sam Lake and whoever was the voice actor for the actor who played Sam Lake was playing Sam so Lake wow. better than the, the VO for Sam Lake. The... Sam and Lake. Salon Wait, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms. <laughs> Sam and Bake. To... I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Why are you aiming Let's it like that? Close the door when I leave. <laughs> He's so big. Good luck, Al. So, so Sam Lake wrote a game about Alan Wake when who goes out, to Cauldron Lake. Cool sunny. I inflict the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. Myself. My face when I'm stuck in a hell of my own or someone else's creation, so I or Zane wrote a deus ex machina into the story. I'm not quite sure even Sam Lake wants this to make sense. I don't think he much gives a shit. Sam Lake wrote this when he was Sam baked as fuck. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. Oh, the artifact. The artifacting is getting way worse. Oh my god, it's getting it's getting worse. It's getting so much worse. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Well, yeah. The artifacting is intentional and just shows signs of spreading darkness. There you go. Sa Sa Salon Salmon Salad Wake was the darkness all along. Die. Oh, oh God! So Sam wrote Zane, who writes Alan, who reads about who was writing them, but he himself is also responsible for the writing. I mean, at the end of the day, this is all Sam Lake the Hack's fault because he wrote everything. me a little bit. Oh god. What the fuck? Work against this. 
I thought it didn't even work. Got it. Nice to see you too. What the fuck was that? Line, Alan, that sucked. Nice to see you too. Wait, now there's car combat. Because there's demon cars now. Oh God! The monster truck! Look at me. Oh. I got it. We got, we got demolition derby with, with car, with cars in, in Allen Wake. Oh, there's a lot of them. What? I don't think I was supposed to lose my car. I have no ammo. I don't think I was supposed to lose my car. F oh, come on, Alan! That guy nearly did all of my health in one go. Holy shit! Leave you. Oh, God. We got a whole bunch more of the of the Pacific Northwest hiking in nature propaganda. Writer finds another page. There's a list of draft names of draft names. Foreign Oak Shield came up for salad baked beans, including Aladdin Wide, Ham Laid, and Sally Uncharted. Writer starts to twerk. What the fuck? Aldrin Lake Campgrounds. Ah, over here. Supplies. Supplies. Hear him. There he is. All right. A huge segment right now. I mean, this this, this I'm assuming is the, the the final climactic ending of of Alan Wake's. Uh, of Alan Wake in general, but god damn, it's a long one. That excavator's gonna try to murder me. Genuinely shocked it didn't. I don't like this I part. I had to get the container out of my way. There had to be a way to power up the container lift. There had to be a way to power it up. Well. Ow. I fucking knew it. Flare gun, my beloved. He's dual wielding! Oh. 
We're almost here. At Cauldron Lake. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison this she is, was being held in. This is what lampshading is called. That's what lampshading is called. Where where the where the, the person directly um directly acknowledges the ridiculousness of the story. I will never give her to you. Well, I actually assumed that was going to be a one shit kill. No, 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 ah, no. A one shot, shot fuck you, chat. <laughs> yeah, my, my patented one shit kill. I know, I know. No fucking way. Go. Fucking Jesus. Here they come. Here come the birds. I knew it was going to be birds. That wasn't even a minecart section. That was just that was just a ride. I wonder I wonder if that was his reference to like Resident Evil 4. You're gonna have this big old minecart thing and then And then he's like, nah, just kidding. Uh it could be a loading screen, actually. That's a good point. I gotta be careful here because there's a lot of stinky shit on the ground. There we go. This is this is a really long combat encounter. It has already gone on for too long. Damn. Oh no. Get shit on. Boat! Fuck it. I'm just gonna flare my ass up the entire time. Goodness gracious. I, I've, I've decided, I've decided I'm over the combat. Larger boat! Wait, what is the, does the darkness just want to kill me now? It's like, you know what? Fuck your story. I don't even give a shit anymore. Die! Oh my God. Take care of your tools. I know we're close. I know we're close. Just God damn. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. Wow, Alan. How about you will some bitches? Turn back now. Oh my God. Man. Whoa. Do as you're told. Ow! Buddy, your cardio has to be up after this. Never loved you. Oh shit, we're here! Stop playing that scene! You played that same fucking darkness scene like 9,000 times!
Let me into the tort to the metaphorical darkness tornado. Ow! Oh God! I'm hurting. You can't win. I'm hurting, Alice. Oh shit! I got bopped. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Okay. We need to wait for this for this debris. Okay. Wait. It's just a really big boat. Whoa! Flashbangs. Even Lovecraft isn't above dark, uh, gaslighting. It's not working. <sighs> Fucking finally, that section was so long. It's time, Alan. It's time for you to woke. Yes. My disembodied clicker. <gasps> Hell. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that jump? <laughs> the man Tifo has jumped. Shh, baby, you were having a bad dream. It was just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. Hello, now, wife. You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Oh. Hey, look, it just Come says clicker. Come back to bed, Tom. You lied! Thank you. I thought that was Barry. I thought that was Barry. I thought Barry floated into the window. <laughs> you must fill his heart with light. Among us. Hi, me. Don't mind him. What do you mean? An another version of me named Mr. Scratch and you're just gonna- Wait, Mr. Scratch? Is that just like- It's it's just the wrong version of the script? All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're- You're my muse. I'm not. You're not my Barbara. Tom, let me go. I promise to be good. Please, untie me, naughty boy. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. You came back wrong. Now you will never get her back. Oh, there's the hole in her heart. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Uh, not even a one-liner? Alan? Just sticks your hand in the hole in her chest and turn the clicker on? Sam Lake, you hack. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. Oh, 
Is he gonna say, oh no, again? Oh no! no. <laughs> I did it! He did it! <laughs> but wait, how can he write a write out a story if the thing that's making the story come true is the darkness? How can he write himself out if the darkness is the thing that's causing the story to exist in the first place? Oh, she's coming. The lake and the dark presence are not the same thing. I well, she lives! Yay! <laughs> Took the whole house with her. Alan? Oh no! Oh, so 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 what? We're doing we're doing the lightness and the darkness balance type thing, so he kills himself to save her life, basically. Uh, he, he he writes the the the, the take the, the give and the take. But like, it's, you can't, but he's, but there's not like a freedom. Dear Fest! Yes! 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 Dear Fest! This is what I've been waiting for the whole time! It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Okay. Alan, wake up. Oh, you bitch, you did it again. He said the thing, he said the line. What does that even mean? It's just sequ it's just sequel bait until until 13 years later when we finally get another game. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Think about it. That much power with just a lake. Yeah, okay, okay I I get it. Like, oh, it's not just the lake's power. It's 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 got it's a whole ocean of power. There's so much more stuff. Chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. That was stupid. Sam Lake. Sam Lake, you hack? Your, your ending fucking sucks. 45 fucking minutes of terrible driving, mediocre combat into, it's into a sequel bait line. Salad, Salad Lake, Salmon Lake, you fucking hack. It would be a six if it wasn't for that incredible rock music section. That that shot it up a, a whole a whole metric. I don't count the graphical bugs. The graphical bugs are are, are the remaster being a god awful port. I, I don't count any of the graphical bugs. Oh wait, fuck, Barry stayed alive. You're right, six and a half. Sorry, you're right, six and a half. This has the exact same feeling I got with um Uncharted 1. I am shocked it even got a sequel. Uh, out of 10 scales are a joke to me. I, I don't ever actually use them.